Good evening YouTube, Sockboy Mahalo here with another video and this time we're gonna learn about autogamous varieties of dragon fruit. Well from the previous video we've learned about sterile and fertile varieties. The sterile varieties are the ones that needs cross-pollination which means that you need a pollen from a different variety to go into one variety in order for it to have uh, a fruit. The other one is the fertile kind which means if uh, you can use your the, the pollens of that same flower to pollinate itself and it will bear fruit. And this time this video is about autogamous or self-pollinating variety. We can tell or determine if a variety is autogamous if the antler and the stigma are touching one another. This means that you don't need a pollinator because the pollens or the stigma are already touching the anther. You can see there will be a transfer of pollens from the anther to the stigma. Because they are close to each other. That's how you can determine if a variety is uh, self-pollinating or autogamous other flowers or other varieties of uh, dragon fruit the stigma is about a centimeter to two centimeters longer than the anthers so they're not touching and this one you can see basically they they are touching and once the flower starts to wither or wilt when the petals of the flower are uh, closest it will make sure or ensure that the anther will basically touch the stigma thus making sure there's pollination okay that's how to tell if a dragon fruit is self-pollinating the only problem with the self-pollinating or autogamous dragon fruit is that they usually have smaller size fruits so what you can do with this is you can still cross pollinate it with another variety and increasing the chances of making a bigger fruit all right so this is how you can tell basically the pollens are pretty much touching the stigma okay again uh, this is suck boy mahalo hopefully you guys learn something this is from my research. I'm just making a video of what I've learned. Thank you for watching. Have a good one. Cheers.